Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to start with a flat object like the plane here and how to make it follow a curve that you design, like that little black curve you see there, and so that you can make it form to any shape you want. Uh, once you have that curve set out, it's pretty easy. You can just go into edit mode, you know, and you can basically move things around you know, and change the shape of your curve with the handles or whatnot. So it's a pretty nice little technique. So let's get started on that. Here I've got a flattened out cube. I've stretched it a bit. I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. What I need is I need a whole bunch of loop cuts. I need to provide more edges so when I try to bend this, it can actually bend. If these are the only edges here, uh, there's no bending points along the object. So let's hit control R, roll the mouse wheel, and I'm just going to get maybe, you can see in the lower left corner there, it tells me I have 32. That seems like a nice number. Click, click. And there are all my edges. So the object's ready to be bent a bit. Now the next thing I want to do, and you don't have to do this, but it's definitely useful, and it's a useful thing to know how to do, is I'd like to take the origin of this object, which is currently at the very center, and I'd like to move the origin to the very end. What this is going to let me do later on is this is going to sort of be the starting point where the curve follows or the object follows the curve. And so by putting the starting point here, and if I do the same thing with my curve, they're going to sort of start and my object's going to follow the curve right from this end perfectly. So let's give it a go. To do this, or one way, is I go into face select mode, I select that end face, and then I go to mesh, snap, cursor to the selected. So the cursor is going to jump there. There it is. Okay, so you see the cursor just moved right there. That's good. And now I'm going to tab into object mode. The cursor's still there. Don't move by, don't click it and move it around. Leave it there. And now just go object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. And now the origin of the object is there. Just to prove it's there, I can actually uh, just test something out. I can go like S to, or sorry, R to rotate, Z direction you can see it pivots around its origin point. I'll hit Escape to cancel that out. Okay, and now that's our object. Now what we want to do is we want to add a curve. So for this thing to follow. And I'm just going to make my curve do a very simple shape so it's obvious that it's working. So I'm in a object mode here. I'm just going to go Add, Curve. I'll do Bezier. And let's see where this thing ended up. Let's hit G to grab. There it is there. And what I want to do with that curve, I'm going to go to 7 for top-down view. G to grab. There it is. And I want to go into edit mode and edit this curve into the shape that I'm going to use to bend. So let's go tab to edit mode. And you'll see there's things here. There's actual points. So that's a point. That's a point. And these are the control handles. So that's a control handle. That's a control handle. Check out how this works. If I G to grab a point, right, the point moves. If I G to grab a control handle, you know, you can adjust the curve a bit. So I'm just going to do something like uh, this. I'll G to grab that. And what you can also do is you can hit E to extrude if you need another point. And I'll G and grab the handle. Turn it up a bit. I'll G and grab that. It doesn't really matter. Just sort of get yours close. But anyways, there you go. You'll see by doing that in top-down view, it makes it so it's nice, flat. You've made no mistakes with the curve. Now, before we leave the curve and I make this all work, one thing I want to do is exactly what I did with the cube object. Is I don't want the origin to be there. I want the origin to be right on the first point. So basically that point right there. So let's give it a go. So with that point selected, you can do... I'm going to make sure I get this right here. Go control point, no segments, no curve. Take curve, snap, cursor to select it. Okay, there goes the cursor. Tab to go into object mode, and then go object, set origin, origin the 3D cursor. Boop, you see the point just jumped there, right? And it moved there. Now, I think we're basically ready to give this a go. I'm just going to grab Z and move this up a little higher. There we go. All right, let's see this work. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take this object here. I'm going to press Alt-G, 
I'm just going to move it so its origin is the center of the world. I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to Alt-G, so its center point is right there. And this may take a little fiddling, um, but here we go. Take the rectangle, go to Modifiers, add a modifier, Curve. And the object I want to use is I want to use my Bezier Curve. And you may see weird stuff happen. we got to pick an axis. Now, be honest with you, I used to know the rules. It has something to do with the local axes, which way they point, and which way your curve was made, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? You can probably just do this. Well, X isn't working. Y. Oh, look at the Y. The Y axis one just made it work beautifully. And so there you go. So, um, you can experiment and fiddle with these, right, and see how they work. But the Y axis was good. And one thing to also show you is if you actually grab your object, let's get this camera right here. If you actually grab your object, G, and let's pick an axis like X. So hit X, and you move it. Okay, that's not doing anything. That's just moving up and down. Now let's hit G, Y. And this is our deformation axis. You can sort of see what happens. So maybe get a different view here. So I'll hit G, Y. And it seems weird. You're moving it in the Y axis, but it's not moving in the Y. That's because we have the modifier on, right? It's interacting with the curve. I'd lie if I say I totally understood it, but here we go. You can see what happens. It actually comes along and follows that curve beautifully. If you don't have them starting at the same spot, so G, Y. If you don't have them starting at the same spot, um, like this, you can see this part works fine. Whatever direction it's going in when it hits the end of the curve, that's the direction. Let me just hide it here. Whatever direction it's heading off at the end, that's the direction it just keeps going. So you can sort of see how that works. And so you don't actually have to have your curve go the entire length of your object, right, if you're just doing a bend. But anyways, that's basically it. Um, if you want to go back and edit the curve, you know, just go to your curve, go into edit mode, and you know, you can go into seven, move your control points, you know, and you can see it's uh, quite easy to bend stuff around in the direction that you want. Um, yeah, easy way to bend. Nice, simple, usually works. And there you go. There's bending an object. Thanks for watching.